Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Manisha here. Today I'm going to be sharing with you a Born Pretty store review for these drawing gels. It's a little bit of a close up what they look like. So they do come in a plastic bag which has actually got the um, product code on the outside um, and they do have like a little shrink wrap plastic around which I've just removed to make the review a little bit quicker. So this is a little close up of what they look like. Um, there is a mixture of metallic ones, so I've got a metallic one here, and also some glitter ones. And I have done a review for um, some of the other colours and in previous videos, so I will link that video for you down below. You'll also find the direct links where you can find these from on Born Pretty Store's website down below. And also my 20% off discount code. Um, which is MMX20, you'll find that on the bottom of the screen and down below too. So do check that out. If you've got any other comments or questions, just leave them for me in the comment section or I'm always happy to answer any questions that you might have. So now with these being a drawing gel, you will need a, um, a brush of some description to use with them. So a fine um, one is probably the better way to go. You can sort of do a lot more um, fine detailing work with a fine brush. So I've got this one from Born Pretty Store, which I did use in the previous review video. So I'm going to be using this one again. So it does come with these really pretty um, crystals or gems or whatever in the um, base of the um, brush or the handle should I say and it's got a really nice sturdy metal cap there that keeps the bristles um, you know covered so you don't damage them and great for storage as well so I'm going to be using this liner brush with these gels today I think these are five grams in size it doesn't have anything written on the um, the base or anything like that and I don't think there's anything written on the outside no it's just got the actual color there so I'm going to go ahead and remove this and I think there will be a protective um, foil yes I was correct which you will have to remove so I always tend to use one of my nail art tools for doing this just so I can kind of get into um, it and hopefully not make too much mess Pays to keep these upright on your desk before you go ahead to use them because otherwise the, um, unfortunately, the, now I've gonna got some on my finger. The um, product can obviously get on inside under the lid in there and so um, it just makes it easier to open up. For some reason, I'm just really clumsy today. I don't know what's wrong with me. Anyway, we will persevere and get the slid off. Show it who's boss. Oh, isn't that pretty? It's like liquid gold. Very, very pretty. It's going to bin. Put that in the bin straight away. My chair creaks a lot in case you're wondering what that sound is. Um, I think it needs oiling or it's the leather on the chair is actually making some really weird noises. Now I've got, um, got it on my finger, so I'm just going to clean that off. Before I go any further, just using some remover and cotton round. Anyway, let's go back to the product. This is what we're here to see today. Look at that. Like I mentioned, it's just like liquid gold. It's almost like mercury, but a golden mercury. Very, very cool indeed. So like I mentioned before, I am going to be swatching this um, using the fine brush that I showed you previously and I'm going to go ahead and do the um, do a few patterns and whatever on well attempt to do some nail art drawing um, on these ones that I've swatched before for Born Pretty Store. Now my um, drawing skills are non-existent so you will have to um, bear with me and um, I'm sure there are many many artists out there that will be cringing when they see the kind of designs I'm going to come up with here but you know if you've got a steady hand and you're quite creative I'm sure you can come up with some really cool um, ways on using these sorts of gels. I'm going to just do a couple of stripes on this one I think to start off with. Now you can definitely make your lines um, thicker if you want to 
I was trying to do thinner ones, but because I've made a bit of a mess of it now, they're going to become um, thicker lines. It just gives you a little bit of a hint of what you can do. That's so pretty. Um, you can definitely do dots if you want to. So I'm going to do some dots on here as well. It's funny when you're concentrating, you almost have to hold your breath and you forget to talk, which is what I'm doing here. Look at that. That's actually so pretty. They almost look like rivets, don't they? <laughs> Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and cure that in the lamp and um, I'll meet you right back. I just pulled out this other um, swatch that I did and I'm going to have a little bit more of a play. So you could do a stripe going straight across if you wanted to instead of using um, striping tape. So if you want something that's quite easy to do across your nails and this would look really cool if you did it across all of your nails so it does look like striping tape and super shiny at the same time so you could do dots like I just showed you before um, you could um, I don't know what else can I do maybe you could do like a bit of a sort of look like paint drips or something you know like when you almost like a waterfall type thing actually that's really cool quite like how that one's turned out there you go that's another design you could do so I mean like if you're really good at drawing you could definitely do sort of like leopard spots or you could draw like a little flower or something like that you really are limited by your um, imagination and um, what your capabilities are my um, like I mentioned before my drawing skills are not the best so you know sort of just stick to really easy simple things um but yeah anyway that gives you a bit of a an idea of what you can do so we're going to move on to this glitter one i will leave the information down for you uh for how many colors there are in this um the, the series i mean there's always they're always adding more colors um but you know i'll just list the current information that i have at the time that the um video goes to air so um you know always click on to the links and stuff so you can find it on the website isn't that gorgeous so you've got holographic glitter galore in this little pot here quite different from that first one so the first one was obviously a metallic one and the second one here is um like a glitter bomb i think what i'm gonna do is um just see what i can do i don't know I think I've exhausted my creative um, abilities now with what I can actually do with the product. But I think what I might do with this one is maybe we'll do like a little bit of a crisscross pattern or something like a checkerboard. Maybe, I don't know. Let's see what I can do. Less is more. It's better to re dip your brush and get more of the product than trying to. Um, once it's on the nail it's on the nail isn't it you know you can always wipe the whole nail clean and start again but it just takes time doesn't it so i've got a few stripes happening actually this would be really cool to do um christmas nails like you know like um christmas ornaments you know like the uh, we call them baubles here or, you know you call them christmas ornaments those round things that this actually reminds me of that now that i've gone and done this i was going to do a checkerboard thing but i don't think i want to now I think for this one I might just kind of go like down the nail and then kind of do, I don't know what this is even called, kind of like have stripes coming out from that centre point. These are really nice for, um, I've got too much product on there. These would be really cool for um, a night out because they're super sparkly and um, great for a night out or, um, 
you know, like I mentioned, Chris, like Christmas or um, holiday nails or um, New Year's Eve, that sort of thing. Um, I think they would be um, really cool to, to wear that way. And I mean, even if you're already wearing a, a design on your nails, this would be a great way to kind of spruce it up and, you know, do something a little bit different. Um, if you've been wearing the mini for a few days and you're like, oh, I just need to have a bit of a change because I'm a bit over what I've got on there. And this would be like a really easy way to, you know, add a little bit of something special on there. So here are all of my swatches. So we've got the um, the two gold ones there. So I did sort of like a paint drip on that one and then some dots and some stripes. And then these two here are the glitter one and then I've just done some basic stripes going horizontally and then sort of coming out from a center point so i hope you've enjoyed this um uh, video um review for these products definitely check them out as i mentioned before i will leave the links for you down in the description box below you can um, find all the other information there for the um you know my discount code and born pretty stores website um, definitely check that out if you haven't done so already i invite you to subscribe to my channel it is free to do so and um, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any uploads use my 20 percent off discount code sitewide mmx20 you'll find that down below and um, leave me any comments and questions if you've enjoyed the video i love a lovely thumbs up and definitely subscribe to see more see you in the next one bye